Hey, welcome to World Neighbor, Episode 2, Puerto Rico. World Neighbor showcases different places, cultures, and people. World Neighbor also looks for one-of-a-kind cultural and ethnographic art to bring back directly to you. World Neighbor, building bridges between cultures. Okay, we finally got into the rainforest. And it's raining in the rainforest, go figure. Hi, I forced Dimitri to come out here. <laughs> the rainforest is very accessible and has many well-maintained trails leading to beautiful areas throughout the forest. The rainforest is lush with a wide variety of plants that vary based on elevation. There is a large amount of rain that falls year-round on this one section of the island based on its unique geography. Walking through the forest is very calming and it almost feels mysterious. There are many rivers and waterfalls formed by all the water rushing back down to the sea. This water is refreshingly cool and clean and good for a quick swim. Lamina Falls are the largest and most beautiful falls in the forest. The water rushes down with a thundering force over the rocks. There are tranquil pools at the top of the falls up the river. Hey, we're in beautiful El Yunque rainforest and we're getting rained on us, so we're wearing our little slickers here. So, but it's beautiful. We just visited El Mina Falls. Yokohu Lookout Tower offers some of the best views of the rainforest. You can see the clouds surrounding the canopy and all the way out to the Caribbean Sea. The climb up the winding staircase takes a bit of endurance, but the views at the top are well worth it. There is a legend in El Yuque that it rains frogs. This is actually based on real events. The tiny coqui frogs will climb to the forest canopy on humid days, sometimes as high as 100 feet. Their natural predators such as the tarantula lay in wait for them. Instead of meeting up with those predators on the way down, the almost weightless coqui frogs launch themselves into the air and practically float down to the forest floor below. Most people have experienced being rained on by the coqui frogs based on this phenomenon. This great cavern was carved out by the Kamui River over a million years ago. The trail descends 200 feet through a fern-filled ravine to the yawning cathedral-like caverns. Kamui Cave is the third largest cave system in the world. 16 entrances have been found and 7 miles of passages explored so far. One special attraction is the main cave, Cueva Clara, which measures 695 feet in length. The natural entrance to the cave is a toothy grin of stalactites and stalagmites. The rays of light stream in and light the way for the first few feet before being swallowed by the darkness of the cave. The cave is also home to tens of thousands of bats. Even during the day you can see them covering the roof of the main cavern jostling for position. 
can hear them squeaking high up in the distance. The cave is also home to a unique species of fish that is totally blind. At the end of the cavern is a great cenote or sinkhole. The tree roots reach far down over the edge of the sinkhole seeking out water. This sinkhole does not have a large pool of water as an underground river takes all the water and rushes it downstream. The Arecibo Observatory is part of the National Research Center operated by Cornell University. This is the world's largest single-dish radio telescope. The observatory is used for radio astronomy and planetary radar. The telescope is located in a large limestone sinkhole which provides a natural geometry for the construction of the dish. The reflecting surface is enormous. It is 1,000 feet in diameter, 167 feet deep, and covers about 20 acres. The 900-ton platform is suspended 450 feet above the reflector. Designed like a bridge, it hangs in mid-air on huge cables strung from three massive concrete towers. A total of 26 electric motors control the platform. Arecibo Observatory has provided the setting for some major motion pictures. It was used as the climactic scene in the James Bond movie GoldenEye, and it was also used in the movie Contact starring Jodie Foster.